Hello and welcome back to a new video and this one is going to be how to build the Riddler from Lego Batman 1 in Minecraft. Um, so, so far we have done I believe Batman, Two-Face and the Joker and the Riddler is one of the other main villains so we are going to do him next. Um, so this one unfortunately isn't going to have a lot of detail in so Two-Face and the Joker they've had quite a bit of detail in but that's because they've also like their characters are based off like wearing suits whereas Riddler is just like a sort of a plain costume to be honest it's quite difficult to add detail but it's still very effective I think um, so yeah we're going to be building the Riddler so the blocks you're going to need for this are lime concrete lime wool magenta concrete white terracotta cyan terracotta and black concrete so uh, we'll just get straight into this the first thing you want to do is place a row of eight cyan terracotta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. Then just do another row on top, like that. Then you just want to do ten solid rows of lime concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then just do ten solid rows. Just like that. And that is instantly the Riddler's legs done. So yeah, like I said, I know it's really plain and really simple, but it's quite difficult to do it because they're just very plain, but it's fine. This still looks pretty effective, I think. I think this is a perfectly good enough design. Um, so yeah. Um, if you want to add your own details, you can, that's fine, but this is just the version that I'm going to do. So anyway, that's what you want to have so far. That's going to be the legs, and that should be 12 blocks high. So 2 cyan and 10 lime concrete. Then get your magenta concrete out and just do a row like this. Uh, and then just do a, another row on top of that. Like that. Then you want to do this. You want to go three up each side with lime wool so one two three one two three like that then you want to do a fill this bottom row in with lime concrete and for the next line do two lime coming in and then two magenta concrete in the middle this is going to be the start of this question mark then do um, just another row of lime concrete like that. Then you want to just do. So you want to place a lime concrete on either side, and a lime wall either side of that. Another lime concrete either side of that, and then magenta concrete in the middle. So you want to have something that looks like this. Um, then you just want to do a. You just want to do this. You want to do. Coming from left to right, do three lime concrete, three magenta concrete, and then two lime concrete, like that. Then you want to do, with your lime wool now, three lime wool, one lime concrete, three magenta concrete, and then one lime wool, like that. Then you want to do three lime concrete, two lime wool, two magenta concrete, and one lime concrete. Then you want to do one lime concrete, two magenta concrete, two lime concrete, two magenta, and then one lime. Uh, these wool are sort of, um, if you look at the Riddler's Lego figure, he has a sort of like, um, like abs and like really strong muscles sort of on his body. So this is just to give that sort of detail um, that he has on his body. Um, and also I know the green looks really bad. I, there's, he just doesn't have that dark green color that he is. So we have to use lime. The dark green looks too dark, but lime is fine. Um, and then anyway, you just want to you just want to do going from left to right now. You want to do one lime, 
six magenta. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one lime. Then you just want to do two lime, four magenta, and then two lime. And that is the Riddler's body done. Now it looks a bit weird at the moment, but the question mark is pretty good enough, I think. Um, and then this will sort of this wall detail will look a lot better once the arms have been added in. So anyway, what we're going to do is now you just want to come to the bottom of uh, his sort of band here that he wears, um, and you just want to use a sand terracotta and bring it out by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And he's going to be the start of his hands. Uh, so the hands are pretty simple. What we'll do is we'll fill it all in first and then we'll add the little tiny bits of detail that are on each arm. So we'll do, start from the left arm, just add two rows of cyan terracotta and then just fill the rest with lime and concrete like that. And then you, what you want to do is you want to come to where these three lime are here and then go up diagonal one here and replace that with wool. Then you just want to do pretty much the exact same thing on the other side. You want to just do two more rows of cyan terracotta and then fill the rest with lime concrete. Oh. Oh my. Oh, it's so annoying when I do that. Just like that. And then once again, come up to this one wall here and then just go up diagonal, replace that with wall. And that is the front of Riddler done. Like I said, very plain, but still effective. Um, and will definitely fit really well with these Lego Batman style statues. So yeah. Um, what we can do now is we can come around the back here. And the back is going to be probably one of the easiest backs you will ever do of a statue. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to extend this out by three, either side, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you just want to, well, connect it first, and then just do another row of cyan, like that, then another ten of lime concrete, so just basically copy the legs, you just want to copy what you have there. This is a really easy one to do, to be honest. Uh, once you've done that, you just want to add two rows of magenta concrete. Like that, to match the band at the front. And then just, once again, add ten rows of lime concrete. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So then it should match the height of the front of the body as well. Just like that. And for the arms, that's just going to be plain. There's going to be no detail with the wall like before. It's just going to be three rows of cyan at the bottom here. And then, uh, pretty sure it's nine rows of lime concrete on top. So the arms just really easy as well. Just like that, that's one arm done, and then just the exact same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. Like that. And there is the back of Riddler done. Very plain, very simple but does the job, I guess. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, we can go ahead and go to the sides, and the sides are going to be, once again, just super easy. So if you come to the front and come to this left side, come down here, then just do a row of cyan, and then do 10 lime concrete up towards the top, like that. Then bring out your hand with the cyan terracotta just like this add two rows and then just bring it up with lime concrete all the way to the top really easy and that's what we're going to have for the side of Riddler um, and then you can just also come up to the top and fill in another three inwards like that 
and then just do the exact same thing for the other side. So one more, cyan, and then lime all the way up to the top. Cyan coming out for the hand. Lime all the way up. Really, really simple. And then don't forget to fill in the top of the arm as well. And there you have it. There is Riddler's body completely done. Um, yeah. I wish there was a more of a darker green to fit the uh, Riddler sort of colour, but it's it's quite hard. So lime is what you're going to have to stick with for now. Uh, so yeah, okay. Now let's move on to the head. And this is what really makes the pix the, the sorry the statue for me. If the head doesn't look right, then I think the whole thing doesn't look right. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's get your white terracotta, and you want to come here where the body is, and just place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Then you want to bring it out by two. One, two. Then you want to do three coming in on either side of white and then two black in the middle. Then go from left to right, do one white, two magenta, two white, two magenta, one white. Uh, another block we're going to be using now is white concrete. I forgot about that. So on top of the white terracotta, you want to place some magenta concrete. Then on top of the magenta concrete in these gaps, you want to place white concrete. Like this then just copy the previous row where we have white terracotta magenta concrete white terracotta magenta and white just like this then place a black concrete on either side and then fill this gap in with white terracotta then just do two rows of black concrete and there is the front of Riddler's face done uh, so what you can go ahead and now do is come to the side here, this left hand side, and extend it out by uh, by two more. So one, two. Apologies if you can hear all the sirens outside. Uh, live literally right on right on the main road. Um, and once you've done that, you just want to bring it out by three more. So one, two, three. So it should overhang the head by two. Um, and once you get familiar with these statues, you'll be able to realise that there's a, the same dimension for every single one of these. So the head is an 8x8 eight eight cube. Uh, the body is 24 blocks high. So the legs are 12 and the body is 12. Um, so yeah, it's sort of the same dimensions for each one. Okay, so what you want to do now is if we, we start this right side whilst we're here, then you want to do. You want to place four white terracotta. You want to place three. Then you want to place one magenta like that. And then while we're at it, go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and then one magenta like that. And then the rest of the sides are just black concrete throughout the whole thing and then same for the back as well the back is just black concrete and also so is the top so you can just go ahead and fill the rest of this head in now with black concrete uh, so yeah let's just fill that in doesn't take that long to do really once you get the hang of it Fill the top in. And boom, there you have it. There is the Riddler from Lego Batman 1 completely done. Um, so yeah, I know I've said this a million times already in this video, but I know it's plain, I know it's not that detailed, but that's the best I'm probably going to do at the moment, unless we get a bit of a darker green. Um, so yeah. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, leave a like and subscribe. I will be doing more of these. I've got more characters to come, including all the Robin suits and Batman suits from the first game and possibly the second game. Um, so, yeah, comment down who you want me to 
bring next as well or other characters you'd like to see. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.